welcome back to Let's Play Sweet Coden. This is your host, Hawk. Now, on the last episode, we came here to uh, ask the Dragonites for their help, but only to find out that the dragons were sleeping. So we got an audience with uh, the Commander Joshua, so let's go see what he has to say about these sleeping dragons. So we're going to go on upstairs and head into the, well, the only room in the entire building, which is a little strange, but, um, well, there you are. So he is indeed friends with Humphrey. Unlike Vincent DeVoe in the last episode, we're not sure if they're actually friends or not. Yeah, Coletco is uh, kind of in ruins. You could just imagine what kind of battle took place there. I bet it wasn't good. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joshua, commander of the Knights of the Dragon's Den. As you should have, sir. You should have heard a great deal about us because, well, we're just kicking the Imperial's butts left and right, that's all. They've only got three regions left. Let's see, I need your help. Please let me fly on a dragon. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you pick. Um, because, as you can see, the uh, the dragons are sleeping, so no matter which option you pick, uh, well, you can't do it, so. I just figured for a little bit of humor, I'd ask for a ride on the dragon. Oh, man. They've been asleep for months? Dragon Knights have no dragons! Hmm. Looking for doctors, huh? Liu Khan? Oh, I know him! Yeah, he disappeared to my castle. Oh, believe me, we know. We know he's the finest doctor in the land. Yeah, it will. It's nothing. Never mind. And then the, the it's over just like that. Well, let's get this treasure chest for the window setting numero two. I could have said dose, but you know. All right. Oh, and uh, old book volume four. Cool. All right. So as you could have probably guessed by now, viewers, we need to go get Liukon in our party now. You're probably asking yourself, well, what happens if we put him in our party when we got here? Well, then you would have missed uh, that dialogue with Flick. So, well, if you don't go with him in your party, then you get a little extra dialogue. And if you put him in your party, well, then you lose a little bit of dialogue. So you save some time, but you lose some dialogue. So, well, I figured you'd want to see the dialogue. All right, and the reason why I came here to the first floor is because we got that window setting. So I want to go ahead and... Uh, and give that to all window there, and well, maybe you might enjoy it. So I figure I'd show it to you. Juan is still by himself. No friends. You have no friends, sir. All right. Oh, Esmeralda's here now. Okay. Let's see. good? Yeah, the, the one that we just picked up, that one on the on the right side there, it's not bad. Um. I don't really care about it though, it doesn't affect the game any, and well, I like the window the way it is, so. I'm not going to change anything, but uh, well, if you want to, viewers, feel free. Alright, let's head back into the main part of our castle, because we also got an old book, so I want to go ahead and take that up to the library. Oh, by the way, if you talk to that um, that woman there, the Milch's like, songmaster, yeah, she, she sings like, or well, it says she sings, but she just kind of plays the game music. But, but, if you like the game music that much, but you don't feel like turning on your console viewers, well, I also make a playlist with um, the original soundtrack on it, so be sure to check that out. Alright, so that was my, uh, that was my cheap plug for the day. Man, I'm tired this morning. It's pretty early in the morning. I got up kind of early, couldn't really sleep. Alright, well... 
enough about my problems. Let's go ahead and talk here to the uh, librarian Hugo. Oh yeah, we only need one more book. And I know where it is, viewers. You don't know where it is yet because, well, you're following along, aren't you? But I know where it is, viewers. Alright, now we want to go ahead and talk to uh, this alcoholic and um, put uh, Lucon in our party. Right, so, well, unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye to Kai. I like Kai, but, uh, that'll probably be the last time I use him. Alright, Doctor, where are you? Where are you, Doctor? Oh, found you. Alright, let's put Liu Kang. He's a short type character. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna fight with him, so, um, uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Alrighty. Talk to Vicky. I bet you she still forgot the spell. Alright, gonna go to the Dragon Knight Fortress. Yeah. I actually kind of made a mistake. I edited it out, so I don't know. You might have been able to tell when the uh, the music changed there just a little bit in the castle. But yeah, I went to the Dragon Knight Den, so I had to edit it out and go into the Dragon Knight's Fortress. So I'm sorry about that, viewers. But I'm always willing to admit my mistakes. Because I'm not perfect. I'm a human. Well, I wish I wasn't sometimes. I wish I was like an alien or something, but, uh, well, human I am, so I'll admit when I make these mistakes. Dragons are sleeping. These dragons look a lot more fierce than, like, that first dragon we saw black. He just kind of made, like, an elephant toot and... I don't know, he just didn't really look all that big like these guys. Oh no! Somebody sneaked in here? You mean snuck in here? Haha, ha, translation issues. Moonlight Weed, Black Dragon Orchid, and... And... What's the third one? Don't leave us hanging, man! Oh, okay, well. Maybe he can just get the third one easily or something. How convenient. Yeah, probably the only reason why uh, Black is awake uh, is because, remember, Black was taking us to the uh, Magician's Island? Um, early in the game. Well, that was probably when these dragons were poisoned. So, like I said, the game does little subtle has little subtleties like this. That's you know, make the game pretty good game. All right, so Luca leaves, and we get Milia. I think that's how you pronounce it, Milia. Well, anyway, we get her in our party, and she's pretty good. Um, I mean, she doesn't like have a rune or anything on her, but for somebody just with you know just raw attack, she's not half bad. Um. See. And she's a, I think she's a medium range character, so, well, that's pretty cool. We can just put her in the back row and it'll be all fine and dandy. Now, I'm not going to go sharpen her weapons and upgrade her um, armor because, well, I don't feel it to be necessary. She's not a character who I'll be using and I don't feel like having to go play the dice game and leveling her up, so... I'm going to take her as is, and she's not, I mean, she's not even that bad as is, so... Yeah, I more care about the other five in my party than her, I guess. If she had, like, a good rune or something on her, uh, I might consider it, but, I mean, she, she doesn't have a rune. She's just an attacker, so. I put some medicine on her and make her a healer. All right. We're here at this Seek Valley. What adventures lie in store for us here at Seek Valley, viewers? I hope we just, I hope there's just nothing. We just get there, there's no boss. We find this moonlight weed and just get out of here. That'd be awesome. All right, we got some rock buster. Rock buster. Yeah, these guys aren't, aren't much. Just go ahead and, you know, take them out as usual, one at a time. I love that hate rune. That hate rune is so good. And 
and uh, well, we'll be able to use Tingar. Tingar's not. Oh man, we got the. That's a that's some pretty good armor we just got there, viewers. I'll show it to you. Oh, I want to equip it so bad, but it's a rare find, so I'm not going to. Uh, but we can go ahead and do this master robe. You know, it's funny how I don't know how many times it's happened in this game where I've gotten like a rare drop armor and then like right after opened a treasure chest with some armor in it. Like, <laughs> have you noticed that at all, viewers? If you haven't, well, there you are. I told you. But I think it's happened like three times already in this game. Bummer. I want to equip it, but it's a rare drop and you probably won't be getting it, so. Alright, well anyway, uh, as you saw, I'll take the right path here, because, uh, oh. Is this a blacksmith's place? Why does he have a blacksmith sign out? Who would be living here? Oh, it is a blacksmith. Mace. Grumpy old man, we do have business with you. We want you on our team. We lack the power to change the world. We've liberated almost the entire empire. They've only got three regions left, man. Whatever. Yeah, our castle's got to be level four. So uh, when we can get that Crowley character, um, well, we'll then be able to go get him. And in order to get him, you have to have all four blacksmiths in your party. So yeah, we can't do that now. Alright, let's take out these ivies. Ha. Huh. You were nothing for me, ivies. You're weak. Weak stuff, ivy. Is it is it ivies? Or ivy? Or is it just ivy? Oh man. Sorry, gotta go to the left here first. Made a little mistake, viewers. I'm human, after all. Alrighty, going on up. There we are. Sound setting too, cool. So if you want to change the sound in the game, viewers, you can change it yet again. I will not because I find it to be annoying. Ooh, a wyvern. Or is it a wyvern? I think this is a wyvern. I've heard it pronounced wyvern and wyvern. I think it, I think the spelling changes for a couple of games. I was recently playing uh, in my leisure time, Tales of Zillia, and they call it Wyvern, and it appears to be spelled Wyvern in this game as well. Yes, I just looked it up in the Japanese and it is uh, Wyvern, so... I'm sorry for calling it Wyvern, viewers. Maybe I'm just an idiot, because as we all know, viewers, I have a terrible command of the English language. Whoa, what's that? Alright, yeah, so go ahead and heal up because it is boss time, viewers. Alrighty. What the hell? Yeah, it's boss time. So, now, he's got a lot of crystals, uh, like, revolving around his body uh, that actually doesn't... I mean, it's, there's just one crystal core. Um, so, ooh. Nice. Three final flames. Nice. Yeah, Tengar's awesome. And because we have Tengar in our party, we'll just be able to mow right through this guy. So, as you do damage to him, well, his body evolves. So you'll see, like, oh, so you saw a crystal, it broke there. So that's how you can kind of see, like, where his health's at. Then, uh, after all the crystals are gone, that blue, uh, I guess, what is it, sphere around the red thing there will disappear, and then that's how you know you're in the last stretch. This is kind of a nice boss. You can kind of see exactly how much health he has. And by the way, that final flame is really cool. Normally, oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Um, one thing you can do to make this, um, well, this party even stronger than it already is, like, I don't think it really needs any help, but you can, uh, at Tayin, they sell those, uh, killer runes. You could have bought two killer runes and then equipped them on Humphrey and Malia. And, uh, well, they'd be doing a lot of critical hits, and, well, you'd be doing a lot more damage. But, uh, I didn't think it was necessary, so I didn't do it, but you can totally do that. Flick's Thunder Rune isn't half bad either. I, I, I kind of think he attacks better than he does magic, but, uh, well, he'll, he'll be out of his magic here soon enough, so I'll be going to his attack shortly. Alright, 
So that was the last crystal. So now we need to just get rid of that blue sphere around the bottom. So, as long as he's got that sphere around the body there, um, well, he just does that crystal attack and he only targets a single party member. But once you defeat that, uh, that sphere around him, and get him down to just like the red ball, uh, he then, every turn, will attack the entire party. So at that point, you really need to stop messing around if you were messing around and just get rid of them. Yeah, so now, okay, so now, now see, he won't attack this turn. When I say he, I mean it. It won't attack this turn because, well, its attack was that crystal thing. But uh, since we took out the blue sphere, it can't use the crystal now. So we get one free turn here, which is kind of nice. Now, uh, from this point on, it will attack the entire party every time. So, yeah, we really want to go ahead and get rid of it as soon as possible. And luckily, Tengar still got some awesome... Like, now she's using Explosion, which is the level 4 magic of the regular fire rune, so we're still doing quite a bit of damage to it. Yeah, come on, kill it. So, this is how you know that you can probably defeat it in the next two to three turns is when it gets down to just that red ball there. Yeah, that's... It, it's kind of letting you know that it's, in, it's on the... It's hanging on for dear life. The hate rune is amazing, though. That hate rune is so nice. Along with Valeria's uh, Falcon. Yeah, so it'll basically do that uh, every time now, from now on. So we need to go ahead and just get rid of it as soon as possible. We got it. Yeah, so, well, it only took two turns. If you don't have Tengar in your party and doing all that fire damage and you don't have the hate rune from Ronnie there, well, it could take three to four turns uh, to get after you get down to that red core there, but, uh, man, those two are really nice. A lot of money, too. All right, let's check out this treasure chest. Cyclone crystal? What's that? Yeah, again, it doesn't really help you. It's just the power, it's the stronger version of the Wind Rune. Alright, I saved it, and, well, we've got a pretty, uh, heavy scene coming on up here, so as soon as we get to the next screen, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys enjoy it. Can anybody equip this? No! Oh, why don't I ever have any characters that can equip a necklace? Ooh, the Queen Ant! This is the whole reason why we have the Soul Leader, because if, well... If the Queen Ant hadn't been where it was, Ted wouldn't have used the uh, Soul Eater, and, well, we wouldn't be where we are today. But uh, I find it to be poetic justice to go ahead and uh, use the exact same move that Ted did on the exact same enemy. Queen Ant. And she's gone. to the last stretches here too we're about level 52 i think we'll probably finish around 56 or 57 or so well anyway, i'm gonna go ahead and shut up now and let you guys enjoy this
was kind of a bummer, yeah. And then, and then Malia was just like, huh, well that all just happened, but, uh, well this is what we're looking for, isn't it? <laughs> I just, the transition there was pretty bad. Alright, well it takes us out automatically, so, um, alright, let's see. Alright, yeah, I got back off screen there. Well, let's go ahead and head back to the, uh... Back to the uh, Dragon Knight Fortress. I figure I, I wouldn't make you sit through, uh, sit through walking all the way back through. I was nice enough to you viewers. Alright, and we're home. Alright, the first thing I want to do is I want to go talk to that maid lady. Yeah, talk to you. Alright, so uh, that is all the time I have for uh, this episode. So on the next episode, we see if we can wake up those sleeping dragons. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.